looking at my man. So I'm like. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So much just happens to drop it go. The girl got monetized. Cover up, cover up, cover up. We lit, we live. Like I promised y'all, I have more story time. If you cannot tell by the time, <laughs> y'all, this is really embarrassing. It's only embarrassing because it's just embarrassing. I can't even really say why it's embarrassing, but it's just it's just really embarrassing. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. We're gonna get right into the video. To all my new subscribers, what is up? To all of my old subscribers, welcome back. Okay, so. <laughs> so to start this story off, I just want to give a disclaimer. This was my freshman year. I'm in no way, shape, or form proud of this. The people in this story, you know, it's no hard feelings against anybody. Like, I literally don't care. I'm pretty sure they don't care either. I just had to bring out this story because it was very funny, but like, I learned a lot within this story, if that makes sense too. I just got on campus just about... And to start things off, I do attend, oh, what it is, South Carolina State University. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, so I pretty much was the only person um, from like my area to go to my school except for one person. Set the setting, set the mood. It is my freshman year, like I said before. This was about like the second or third week, second week of classes. I was on campus probably like a month before classes began because I danced. So band camp started like the first week of August, like the last week of July. Classes didn't start, if I'm not mistaken, until like mid, um, mid August. This is probably like my fourth week on campus. This is probably like the second week of school of actual classes. I'm walking from my dorm and if you went to SC State or you've ever visited or you know anything pretty much about SC State, um, I lived in Williams Hall and I walked from Williams Hall to my 2 p.m. I still remember to this day, it was a two o'clock class. <laughs> um, I walked from my room all the way up to Nance. I had a class in Nance Hall. It was a psychology class, intro to psych or something like that. Something I just had to take um, as a freshman. On my way to that class, to kind of like rewind a little bit, give you a little bit more backstory. Um, I was talking to this boy from home at the time when I got to school. Me and him was cool, but we knew it kind of like really wasn't going nowhere. We were just kind of like having fun, like just chilling with each other. We had like met some of my family at like my little like graduation cookout, but it wasn't like that. It was just like, he cool, like, he just, we just friends. It's not nothing, nothing like that. I actually had invited other guy friends to my graduation party, but the, he was the only person that had showed up. So it kind of looked like he was boyfriend, but it wasn't that at all. Him and I were talking, but like I said, it really wasn't going anywhere. It was just kind of like, you know? I would still talk to him every day, though. Like, we would talk like on the phone like all the time. Like, we were really friends. Like, it was really just friends. So as I'm walking to this class, I'm on the phone with him. I will never forget, I had on this striped dress. I remember it was a striped dress, and I had on brown sandals, and I was walking to class. I'll never forget. This was in, like, like I said, like the second week of school. So it was like the end of August, early September. Probably like the beginning of September. I'll never forget, me and the boy that I was telling y'all I talked to, we had not talked for like a couple of days or whatever like that. So he had like hit me up and was like, I wanna, um, I'm sorry for not speaking to you with the past few days. Like I said, it was really just kind of like a friend thing. It wasn't really even all that, so I really wasn't tripping. I'm on the phone with him, you know, we just talking, talking, talking. I'm walking to class and I hear this boy like, <laughs> I hear this boy outside of this um, freshman boy's dorm. His name is called Earl. He was sitting outside of Earl, and if you go to state or you know about this, if you know me, you probably know who this is. You probably know about this story. Um, but I'm like walking like through the plaza from Williams, going to Nance, and y'all know how Earl is right there. He's there sitting out on the phone with a boy. We gonna name him Josh. I'm on the phone with Josh. Um, and then the boy that's sitting right there is like cat calling me. Like, hey, 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 come here, hey. 
a um shawty, you know, like the little cat calling or whatever like that. I'm walking by, I'm like, I don't know who he's talking to, but I'm not about to answer him because I don't know who he think he's talking to. I just keep walking. And plus, I'm on the phone with somebody, like, I'm not about to talk to you. I end up going to class. You know, everything's smooth, everything's fine. So, I come from class. As I'm walking back from class, I got out of that class at like, it was a lecture, so I got at like 320 or something like that. Even the class, I'm walking back to my room, but I know I had practice at like 530, so I didn't really have a lot of time. Walking, and the same boy who was cat calling me earlier is still sitting outside the same dorm. And I kind of should have known then, like, something, right? Like, when you walk past a group of boys, it's kind of like, uh, or a group of men, you like, mm. I don't even, yeah, give me your phone. Like, I don't really want nobody to talk to me. It was that type of situation. I was his homeboys. This time, it was like more of them. So, I'm really trying to like walk on the opposite side of them and just kind of like get to my room. Starts cat calling me, of course, again. He's just like, hey, come here, come here, come here. What are you doing? Woo. And I'm like, Ugh. he said something, not, not like really disrespectful, but he said something that made me go to him, be like, who you talking to? So I went up to him and he's like recording me like this, like straight recording. There's something along the lines of like, let's go to my room. Like trying to be funny in front of his little friend. I don't mean like that. But you know, I just kind of let it slide. I'm like, he's just trying to be funny. He not meaning to be real disrespectful to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to like make it make sense. He was like, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Can I have your number? And I was like, no, you not have my number because you tried me. You tried to play me like I was just some little, some easy. I was like, no, you're not getting my number. And I walked away. So I went to my room. That was that. But when I walked up on him, I was like, oh, you can't. <laughs> I like him, like he's cute. Not I like him, but you know, I like the way he looks, like he's cute. More time went on and um, we ended up going home because there ended up being a hurricane in South Carolina. And if you're familiar with South Carolina, you know that the whole hurricane thing just kind of like happens every year. So we ended up going home and my birthday is in the middle of September. My birthday is September 17th. Like I said, this happened like the beginning of September when he was cat calling me. Ended up going home because of the hurricane and I ended up not coming back until the day before my birthday. Came back the day before my birthday. So I went and got cute, put on my little outfit, did my makeup, my hair, and I went and took pictures. When I took these pictures, um, it was right in front of the building that he saw me at, like right in front of that building. Um, because where he, where he was sitting at is like literally in front of the plaza. Like you can see the whole plaza from where you're sitting. And that's when I took my pictures at in the student plaza. So I'm taking my pictures, I'm you know, cute out there with my friends or whatever like that. We went and got some food and then we went and sat down and ate outside or whatever like that. Um, nobody was really on campus like that that day because the hurricane had just happened and people was kind of like slowly coming back. However, he was on campus. I keep calling him he. We're gonna name him Brian. Post my little pictures, I'm like, okay, I'm cute, whatever, 18th birthday with woo, yeah. And um, I get a DM from Brian. Brian's in my DMs and he's like, happy birthday, you know, you look beautiful. A lot more correct than what he came when he seen me, you know, walking. You know what I'm saying? Told me he said happy birthday, I said thank you. And the next day I said, what is your number? And then he sent me his number. And that is how we started talking. By this time, me and old boy that was from back home had completely stopped talking. Like, we didn't speak no more. We kind of just like fell off. Like, it just really wasn't even nothing like major. We just kind of like fell off. Brian and I were very cool. Like, we got on, along like really well. Like, when we first met, it was just like, we got along like really well. Um, at the time, I had a lot going on in my mind. I was just kind of like going through a lot. I was dancing. I was away from home. I say dancing, y'all do know I mean like major style dancing, not another type of dancing. A lot of my time, I didn't really have any free time, no friend time, you know, nothing really like that. I was away from home for the first time, so it was really just kind of like a lot on me. That somebody who was like an outlet for me that was there, and Brian was there. So I just went to go get some food, listen to music. Like Brian was like that that person. And at the time, I was just like this. This boy is like 
everything. Like, he's always there for me. Like I said before, I always like there when I need him, when I need to call him. Like, he's there, like, without a doubt. With him being there, y'all know something had to go wrong, right? Because it was going too well. It was going too good. It was going too, 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 too good. This is where things kind of start taking a turn for the worse. Decided I did not want to dance anymore. I was like, I'm done. Like, I can't do this. Like, I'm over it. I'm over y'all. I'm over everything. It's a complete different story time for another day. Like I said, I had no social life. I had no fun time. I had no friend time. So what I did was, I was like, you know what? I called my coach. I was like, I just need a mental break. Like, I'm just not feeling it. She was all for it. She was like, go have your mental break. You know, go do what you need to do. Like, I understand. You know, sometimes, like, this is what happens. I took, like, a couple of days off, and then I got back into the group of things when I was ready. On my days off, I was able to like attend social events. I was able to like, you know, have free time, like catch up on my work, like have my mind right, all that little stuff like that. I'm like October when this happened. So me and Brian had been talking for like a month at this point, like a good little month. We had spent countless like nights together. Like we would just sit in his car and just like talk, you know, he didn't care what time I got to practice. You know, he would just sit, at, sit down in the car with me we would go get food, we would just talk, chill, like, just really, like, really was building a real bond with each other, like, just off of just being friends. Um, and I already knew Brian was talking to other girls because Brian was cute, Brian had a nice car, you know how that goes, Brian could dress, you know, so the girls was on Brian, I already knew, but the boys was on me, so... <laughs> I had no like insecurities about it at all. Like I really didn't care. I was just like, he gonna do what he wanna do. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But we know that we got something good here and I'm not even gonna worry about nobody else. That's how I was thinking. Brian and I were so upfront about everything. Like Brian was just like, you know, this is what I'm dealing with. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I was like, okay, bet. Like, period. Like, we good. Until one of the days when I was not actively being a dancer <laughs> um there was this thing called a ox court wars i don't know if y'all ever heard of that but it's like they do like tours to like a whole bunch of schools i know specifically hbcus but um they may go to like all schools period um and so they had came to our school and had like a real cute little shindig or whatever i went I was there, I was having a good little time. I was sitting with some of my friends and we had a little fun time. Oxcore Wars was held up by where I had the class at. It was like in the front of the like campus or whatever. So I had to walk all the way back to my room. And I ended up seeing Brian when I was coming out. He texted me, I think, and was like, where you at? Like, what you doing? Woo, woo, woo. Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm leaving out. And he was like, oh, meet me by this area, or whatever like that. So I met him there. And then um, we started like walking back. And he was doing like, you know, the puppy love stuff. Like had his arms around me while we was walking. Um, was joking around like, you know, the little cute stuff, you know. <laughs> One of my other friends was with a dude she was talking to. And so we were walking back, walking back, walking back. And we're like in this area, if you go to state or went to state, you know the Williams Earl parking lot right by Duke is like the spot after like any function um, for freshmen. For freshmen, everybody else be in the courtyard in Houghini, all that little stuff. But if you're a freshman and you're not over there in Houghini, you don't really know nobody. All your friends stay over there. You in that Earl Williams parking lot. So baby, we was in the parking lot. All my friends in the parking lot. All my girls we was out there looking cute. We was we was giving, we was serving the girls. And honey, we just was having a good time. Everybody was out there chilling, playing music, talking, you know, just vibing. So I told y'all, me and Brian are walking towards that way where everybody's at. So we're walking and all of a sudden, I am vanishing, mm -hmm. like out of thin air. Remember I told y'all that I was like the only girl, well, one of the only girls that I knew that was from my city or from my area that went to my college. One other girl that I knew, um, and we're gonna name her Layla. So I saw her walking up to me and Brian. And Layla had her friend with her who looked very familiar. Um, we gonna name her friend Sierra. 
So, um, we got Layla and we got Sierra and we got Brian. Brian is my man. Layla is the girl I went to high school with and Sierra is Layla's friend. Sierra looks very familiar. I'm like, I know Sierra from somewhere, like, or through somebody. Like, I don't know how I know Sierra, but I know I know Sierra. Y'all, I'm walking with Brian. Like, Brian got his hands wrapped around me. And it's like, as soon as I saw Layla and Sierra, Brian just disappeared. I knew something was up automatically. And then like the, like the girl I was with, that was like my friend, she was like, ooh. And I'm like, this man is embarrassing me. And Layla's walking up to me and I'm like, hey girl. She's like, hey Shina. I'm like, what's up Layla? Like, how you been? She was like, was you at the old school awards? I'm like, yeah. I was like, where you coming from? Because she was coming from like the opposite direction. Mind you, I told y'all, I mean, Brian was coming from the event. They're coming towards us like this. So I'm like, where y'all coming from? She was like, oh, we did. We just went there too, but we had rolled around back to our room and um, we had stayed there. So of course y'all know if like a girl talking to, like if you walk up to somebody and you're talking to like two people, but you only know one person, like you still gonna speak. I knew I knew Sierra. So I didn't even introduce myself. I was just like, oh, hey girl. She was like, hey, and that was really it. And I see Sierra look. <laughs> I see Sierra look my man way. I see Sierra looking at my man. So I'm like. Oh my God, what's going on? Mind y'all, I told y'all me and Brian weren't serious or anything. We just like really didn't know each other. But he had told me that like, of course, I was the only girl. I'm smart, okay? I really peep out everything. I see everything. I hear everything. Like, my friends will tell you, like, that girl hear everything. I hear everything. I hear when somebody's smacking on chips. I hear when somebody whispering. I hear everything. Like, I hear I hear it all, okay? And Brian, love you, babe. Mwah. Um, not to bash you or anything, but you thought I was stupid. <laughs> so, I didn't say nothing. I just was like, I'm gonna find out for myself. A couple of days passed. Not long, maybe like two days passed. I was kind of being dry with Brian. I really like talking to him like how I used to. So I was kind of like giving him a cold shoulder. My friend ended up texting me and was like, I just saw Brian and Sierra in the car together. I asked him, I was just like, you know, um, I went to him like straight forward, like after I heard it, and I was like, you know, hey, you know, I know we're not serious. I know nothing like that's going on between us, but I do want to know, like, you know, are you talking to somebody else, like, with anybody else? Like, are you, you know, doing stuff, stuff with anybody else? You know, because we're not, we're not that far yet. We haven't got to that point yet. And if you are doing that with a girl, you know, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't want you to be spending time with me how you be spending time with me. And he was just like, no, I'm not doing nothing with nobody else. It's just me and you. Like, I was like, so no girls be in your car. No girls you don't be doing stuff with and he was like no 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 like nothing and I'm like okay I didn't tell him what I had heard I just was asking him general questions time went on more time went on then I ended up um going to my friend's room friend just so happened to stay right above I'm gonna say their real names right above Ayla and Sierra friend I was like friend I feel like he's lying to me you think I should just go ask her like you think she'll like you know get rowdy want to fight me because I'm not trying to do all of that like I just really want to know like what happened like I just really want to know what's going on she was just like girl no she was like I feel like you should go to her I don't feel like she would try to like you know act crazy towards you or anything um and I was like well she could very well be doing stuff with him you know and it'll make her feel bad and I don't want to make her feel bad and all in all, like, I just don't even want to be on a messy. I just really want to know, is he telling me the truth? And I'm like, you know, I'm cool with Layla. So if Sierra do act crazy, you know, I feel like Layla is mature enough to be like, hold on. I don't think she mean it like that. Like, just relax. You know, type of thing. I'm like, okay. I go down there with my friend. I knock on the door. And I'm like, hey. And um, Sierra, I think Sierra had, like, this misconception of what I was going to say to her. I don't know if Sierra automatically knew um because i'm pretty sure that sierra and layla saw brian and i walking so i feel like sierra kind of like already had like a clue so i knocked on the door and she looked through the peephole and i hear sierra's voice and sierra's like oh layla shine is here for you and i'm like no i'm here to talk to you and i was like dang i hope that didn't come off bad i was like but it is what it is oh well so 
she opens the door. She's like, oh, okay. So she opens the door. And she's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. Um, Layla's like, hey, girl. I'm like, hey, Layla, girl. Like, what's up? The girl was on the phone with somebody. And she was like, I'm going to have to call you back. It was like, you know, what's going on, sis? And I'm like, okay, this is what's happening. So, you know, I just sat there. And I was talking to her. And I was like, um, talking to her and Sierra. And I'm like, Sierra, you know, I don't know what he's telling you. But this is what he's telling me. I really want to get to the bottom of it. Um, And so just backtrack. When I asked. Um, Brian about any other girls he was dealing with he mentioned to me that Sierra was always trying to talk to him always trying to get at him he didn't really want Sierra like Sierra was always coming on to him Sierra like you know wasn't even all that to him he was like you know we just cool I really, really want to just be her friend I was telling her about you but she don't even care about you she's like you need, I need to stop being with you I need to be with her woo -woo -woo -woo. So he's basically like painting Sierra out to be like this bad person. I'm like, wow. Like, you know, so when I went and talked to Sierra, I'm like, you know, maybe if she is saying these things about me, you know, we can come to an understanding that it's not cool. We're not going to have that. And we can just go our separate way. Or he could be lying about Sierra all this time. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, well, this is what he's telling me. He's telling me that y'all not going to believe this. He's telling me that you're always trying to talk to him. He's so tired of you trying to come on to him. Um, he says you're always nagging him, always want to see him, always want to be with him, always want to spend time with him. He don't like that because he want to be with me. And I'm like, so these type of games Brian playing. Okay, I got something for Brian. She was like, well, I'm going to be honest with you. She was like, I really don't even care about him. She's like, because I got a man. Like, I got a man. And I'm like, what? You got a man? And she's like, girl, yeah, this is my man. I was like, you know what? I told Sierra, I'm like, listen, girl, this is what we finna do. You finna pull your phone out. You finna call Brian. And I'm gonna record. She called him. I'm like, I'm gonna start recording. My plan was to record her talking to him. If it was the truth, then it was good. But if it was a lie, I was just gonna drop the video to him and block his number. And that was that. I know he lied, right? Y'all know he lied because all they do is lie, right? Y'all know he lied. On the phone, and I'm gonna insert the video because I actually still have the video in my. <laughs> told her I was just like, you know. I want you to ask him, what are we? Like, I want y'all, you to ask him, like, what are you in China? Like, so we gonna see what he said. We gonna see if he gonna lie. Oh, yeah, what you doing? Okay, what was you saying about, um, what you saying you don't talk to nobody else or China? Like, you know, did you and Shana do anything? Did she be in your car? You know, do you be in her room? Did she be in your room? And he was just like, no, I, we're just friends. I just met her and stuff. And I'm like, wow, like, that's not what you be telling me. Like, that's not what we be talking about. That's not what we be doing. Like, that's not what you be telling me. So, um, yes, it was very, very, very funny. Um, I was just said that girl real day. Ah, um, Sierra was like not at all like with the rah rah like you know we set him up as we should girls come together to kick these men to the curb but I ain't got no problems with none of them like hey look, hey Sierra hey like what's up um y'all see in the video like we literally was laughing because it was because he got so mad because he got caught up and so I just sent him the video and I was like I don't even think I said anything I think I just dropped the video and I had asked them I asked them to you I was like I think I should just drop the video and just leave they was like just drop the video and block him like that's it it's like Brian out of all the girls you could have talked to in the school while talking to me you chose like one of the only girls that was from my city she knew a girl she's like closest with a girl that I went to high school with we set him up like we came together as girls and we set him up and that was that and I was very happy like I said to this day I look back on this now and I laugh it's very funny it's just 
it's just funny to me now. I don't, like, I'm not mad about anything. That is all I have today for this story time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. My crazy, crazy life. How we set him up. Me and the side chick, which really wasn't the side chick, because I really a side chick too. Um, like, I linked up with the side. I guess we both were side. So, like, she the collard greens, on macaroni and cheese, and nobody was the chicken. But anyways, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. My socials are going to be below and probably link somewhere on the screen. If they're not, they'll be below if they're on the screen. And, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. Your girl got monetized because of y'all. Y'all are amazing. So I told y'all I had to bring y'all more story times than I am. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the best I can. Love y'all. Bye.